Warcraft area. Oh. It was all men because you share your airfield yeah. with the male dudes. All right. So, yeah, um, I guess I'll go see Tatiana then. Okay. Out of curiosity, Arthur, did I get in, in kind of the NKVD reports that I just acquired, did I get anything about what um, the captain feels about Sonya? Nope. Nope, nothing. <laughs> do, you, do you think he has, like, a private journal that the NKVD confiscated <laughs> and sent to your airfield? Nah, it's, it's actually just a link to his MySpace. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey honestly, this, this, this is the sort of guy who might actually, he might actually just send Here, them a list He would of, have a black book, Arthur. Let's be like have a list. Yeah, yeah but would the NKVD have it and then ship it to an airfield that's so far from his posting... Well, maybe there would be. Uh, wasn't he, isn't he isn't he like co-located on this base? No. Or wasn't he at some point? Nope. Previous base? Because yes. that's where she. Previous base. Pre previous yes. bases. But I mean, isn't this the kind of guy that would send a book over? Was like, I would like to I mean, do at, this person and this person and no. this person and this nope. person. No. No. At the very least, it might have come to the NKVD's attention because he sent a letter to uh, to Sonia. He's nope, communicating no. with someone off of his airfield. That's, that's you're looking for way more out of a temp <laughs> faith than you're going to get. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. So, yeah, like, if probably if you're going to stretch it, the only real thing that you'd probably actually get, if I'm going to be completely honest here, is maybe that they would acknowledge that the black book might exist. That's about it. That you okay. wouldn't get anything else. They don't acknowledge that. But, but yeah, that's as I said, that's pretty much a stretch. So, okay. Mm. Now, if you came to me with forged documents, though. <laughs> that would require another temp fate. Hey, you got two more. Yeah, uh, no, I want to say... No, I would say that would be scrounging. You mm -hmm. could get someone to make forged documents for you. That's... Actually, yeah, that's true. Um, so I'm coming to you, so I'm leaving it in your steed right now whether you want to be prepared... Oh, yeah, I'm... so I I, th I think so. So Tatiana was hoping for something incriminating. She wants to turn Sonia against um, Captain. What's his name again? Captain Galunov. Alunov. Galunov. Yeah, Captain Galunov. Um, so if this didn't pan out, I think she was probably going to scrounge. <laughs> I love it. I don't even have to make villains anymore. You guys are like, why don't we bitterly turn against each other? I'm not. <laughs> at, hey, let me let me let me be clear about Tatiana's intentions here. She does not want to turn. She wants to turn Sonya back facing everyone Into else. The greatest as as pilot a player in the playing Sonya, I want to continue to be a pilot. But as a player playing a character, I'm not going to just say, nah, she doesn't care about this Excellent. Guy this is exactly yeah. where... Listen, <laughs> yep. if you're watching from home, okay, this is exactly where the GM's supposed to put players. An NPC that is interrupting the flow of relationship between two players. That's what you want to have. All right, so I'm, I'm I'm coming to you, but I'm letting you prepare yourself for this encounter if you like. So. I would like to go back and just recognize how amazing it is that I've managed to set this up because they're in the habit of killing any NPC that gets close <laughs> to them, basically. I'm trying to be better about that, okay? I have literally made this character to not kill anyone. So okay. You killed a bunch of dudes when you dropped bombs on their heads. <laughs> Well, no one that I actually know. Well, <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, if you don't know them, I guess yeah. it's okay. So as soon as you make introductions, they're safe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If, if, I, if I learned a German guy his name, I would actually <laughs> you're, you're, not bomb him. You're yeah. literally yeah. using the order of the stick rules. Hey, hey, name so NPCs are, are, are invincible. The plan? Aren't you going to go gonna try gonna and meet some German guys? I'm going to give you the perfect opportunity. Um, because this is probably going to go poorly. I am actually going to scrounge for documents incriminating Captain Glunov of some... Are you doing it straight, or are you trying to not so good with paperwork? Not so... what? Is there actually a form you can fill out for forged documents? I mean, you're going <laughs> all out today. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that I'm hoping... Is that your luck roll right there for that? that... No, it isn't. No, he's probably just going to use Sasha to do it. No, no, I'm not actually. I'm not oh, actually shit. Do a luck roll. So, he has plans for Sasha. This is this body. is this. I if this goes awry, I'm gonna have to use Sasha. But uh, you can't use Sasha after the fact. You got to do it. Oh first. no, 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 no! But like the consequences of this, I'm sure Sasha is gonna be involved with. So we'll see how this goes. This could go horribly. Ah. Someone in the chat said Arthur is losing his job to the players. That's exactly what the best part of this game is. 
The All players right. drive the story. All right, let's see this roll. All right, let's see. Can I get forged documents? Uh, barely. Okay, so you get what you need, but choose two. Wow. Why don't you incur a debt again? Maybe you can find Death Sergeant Boris Fitlateral, <laughs> not pay him three times in a row, and then kill him. Uh, he, I guess you would have to. You would Poor literally have sir. to pick. You attract unwanted attention and incur a debt. Um, if that's what no. you want, because the poor quality stuff won't be very useful. Uh, well, right? depends. I already have information that he's a womanizer. Yeah, um, but to give you an idea, Sonya knows about that and is actively trying to convince him to change his style. So if you're gonna wait, do anything, do you know it's gonna about have that? I don't know that it's ever been discussed with you. He the, the first interaction he had with him, he literally fucked Natalia. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, but your head was in the engine. That's true. Your back was turned, and you completely were oblivious to that whole thing. So uh, I remember having a conversation with you, Arthur, about this. Though. Okay, all right. Yeah. I don't remember I, that, but that's fine. Well, if you think you know, you might know. Well, no, I mean we'll talk about that... women, woman's intuition. You've seen things. I'll agree with that. <laughs> oh no, yeah, I tell you what. Um, I will do something to tend to like look at this file to see whether or not I know it when it comes into my hands. And okay. Then we'll make it based on that. So. Okay. So I am going to incur a debt and I get poor quality stuff. Okay. So yeah, you find some some guy uh, at the two seventeenth. Is that who okay. you're? I think you're at the two eighteenth. Okay. So you're at the two eighteenth barracks. And there's this really slimy grease ball. His name is Gizmo. <laughs> okay. And he's like, God. Ah, I yes. owe Gizmo a debt. Fantastic. Um, so Gizmo is a junior lieutenant in the paperwork department. He's a, you know, like, <laughs> artillery authorizations officer. Yeah. And he's like, okay, comrade, I can get what you need. I know a guy who knows a guy. I can find some... Uh, you know, someone who can make that signature work. Perhaps you can uh, phrase the letter as a love letter between uh, Captain uh, Golunov and uh, his associate, Boris. Boris who? <laughs> you just want Boris? Boris. <laughs> uh, Boris. Uh, Are you going to make him into a homosexual? <laughs> oh my is that, god. And then he's going to write a report to change the accepted truth about the situation and actually turn him into a homosexual. <laughs> like he cut, like he's like, I guess I like dudes now. <laughs> it doesn't I wasn't it, aware of that. To be clear, it doesn't change the fact that he is, is homosexual or heterosexual or any type <laughs> of sexual. It's just that the NKVD will be like, oh, I guess he's gay. <laughs> Let's pull so, out our guns now. Federal accepted truth. <laughs> you literally forced a guy out of the closet to like make someone in your. No, 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 no. So this is just incriminating. Is it just search. Boris? Like, there's literally nothing else. Just a letter to Boris. Uh, my dearest Boris. Uh, my one true love, Boris. Okay. Like a heart. So and he's actually, like, you know what? You know what? To make it interesting, this is going to be high quality, and I'm going to attract unwanted attention. Okay. Conversing with this guy. Dang! Are you gonna? Is this literally going to be like a sex letter? Like, is this sexting? Like in yeah, World uh, One yeah. case? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I cannot yeah. wait to hold your erect penis in my <laughs> hands. <laughs> I don't go there. Yeah. But, so as you're leaving. So so suddenly the letter looks a lot better. As <laughs> when you get into the light, you're like, "Wow, <laughs> you know, I thought the handwriting was really shitty, but this looks to be high quality stuff." <laughs> as you're leaving, he says, "Listen, I had to contact some very bad people in order to get this. You might have some heat on you for some time, and just remember, you owe me. And when I come calling for my debts, I'm no Boris Fedlateral. You're going to pay up. You understand?" Boris Fedlateral did not make any deals with me. I honor my debts. <laughs> so he is just like, I've heard about your section. I've heard about Sasha and Zerkova and all of the He literally died others. before he could call in the favor. Like, <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> That's the point. He never got paid. Everyone in your section who made a deal with him either died or killed him. <laughs> <laughs> Or was... Uh, is he actually dead? 
Like yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, they the took him off sergeant, to prison. Fed yeah, lateral, awesome. but not the uh, not Colonel Fed lateral. Uh, Colonel, as we've already he's learned, he's Siberia. He feels fine. Uh, well, I mean, he might be. The, so, so the colonel's the colonel definitely was never free. marked, and I did that on purpose because I wanted to create an enemy. Yeah, the, the colonel isn't marked. He's back now. He's yeah. back in the New York Blues. He's been he's been reinstated. Yep. So he salutes. And he's like, "Have a good day, Captain." All right. And Captain, do I want to know what you're going to use that for? That's a very dangerous piece of evidence, and I don't want it traced back to me. If you would like to know what it is going to be used for, would you agree to settle our debt? He says, oh, oh, not even slightly. Boom. Take that off us. Get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> He's asking for more than, than was part of the arrangement. He is. Mm. He's just asking casually, though. Oh, casually. Yeah. Casually. <laughs> casually. I, I, I say I'll clear our debts and I'll tell you what it's for. Absolutely not. Very well. I'm come going to get paid. Desire something. And let yeah. it eat away at you forever. And then <laughs> she walks out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So what do you guys want to do next? So I'm. So this is all happening as, uh, as um, Sonia is on her way to meet me. In fact, I'm thinking as I'm walking back into the barracks with a letter in my hand, she like is arriving. Okay. Let's set the scene. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Captain. I yes. can't permission to speak Tony. freely. I have, a, have, a, I have something I wish to ask of you. Uh, very well. Step into my office. Okay. I walk into her office. I shut the door and I, uh, I drop all the, um, the, you know, whatever. Pagne uh, pageantary mm -hmm. about uh, whatever. And I'm like, uh, <clears throat> Katiana needs to have her scheduled free so she can teach me how to be a navigator. So, I, so I would really appreciate you doing this for me. Okay. Do you want to make that act up roll? So, so Tatiana, is, is his, her face is impassive at this point. Um, she tucks the letter into her breast pocket or whatever. Um, does not pull it out. Um, she nods, nods quietly, Ten. and Sonia does it. <sighs> so, uh, what moves would you like to pick for Act Up? We can't add to the mission pool, right? You could, but you have no mission tonight, so... Yeah, um, well, I guess it'd be the other two. Okay, there's no consequences. Uh, are you going to accept this? Lieutenant Sonia, I feel like I've been unfair with you. Uh, tomorrow night, if you can prepare yourself, you will be lead navigator for our mission. Um, I... This isn't... This is very sudden. I don't actually know how to navigate. I wish to learn how to navigate. I, I feel like you're going to be killing me by doing that. You say that your, uh, your beloved requests you learn how to navigate. There Surely no... you would you would like to uh, learn as quickly as possible. <clears throat> no, no faster way than. Uh... Captain, have you ever been in love? Uh, <laughs> she, she, she... <laughs> <laughs> this is not a conversation about me. This is a conversation about you. Well, you... then you, if you if you had been, you would understand that there is no rushing love, sir, and that. I'm willing to take as long as it takes to transform myself into the excellent navigator as I am an excellent pilot. And I, to do this, I need your blessing to learn how to become a navigator by learning first rather than acting. Acting is a great way of getting myself killed. <laughs> I understand this. Uh, I will free up uh, uh, Katiana's schedule to begin teaching you how to navigate. Uh, however, I would still like you to... Uh, actually, is this pushing too hard? So I want, I want Sonia to navigate tomorrow night because she's been pestering me to do it. And she's yes. been asking for it. Yep. And now she's saying that she wants to be a pilot for probably the next week, which is the entire duty campaign. Right? Or not... Well, Maybe. I mean, Who knows? Hmm. She she needs to prepare herself. She can't literally jump into a role she's never well, done. Well, she she's she's got a day. She's not she's not like anyone okay, else. Okay, so so you know? here's 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 something else. Like I think as your character, you may be insecure about navigating, but the fact is, is that you graduated flight school. You had to have been trained how to navigate. 
You can't be completely yes. terrible at it, or you would. However, you have to remember her her history. And that listen, Sonia, because... your father was commander of an aircraft for twelve minutes. He saved eight hundred lives, including your mother's <laughs> and yours. I dare you to do better. My father died piloting a plane because he didn't respect it. Exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm that's not... why he was only in it for twelve minutes. <laughs> It is fortunate for you that you will not be piloting it. You will just be navigating. So you're willing to put someone who is unskilled as a navigator into the role of a navigator for the sake of someone's request? I request that you be a smarter officer, sir. <laughs> wow. That, Amazing. that actor. Wow. You, so, so you finally get what you asked for, and now you're like, nope, I don't want it. Just wait wait a couple I, days? I'm actually a little bit confused, because I figured that uh, Sonya's character would be eager for this opportunity. Um, it sounds not, like one or more of you might want to eyeball this situation. This wasn't how I envisioned, like, I, I, this wasn't how I envisioned this conversation going. But if this, yeah. if, if I like how it never happens that way. <laughs> <laughs> because it, you got to understand, she's not, her character has never been about doing things like, she's literally done things where it's like, I can do this right now, but I'm not going to. Instead, I'm going to do this because it makes sense for her as a character. And her learning how to be a, nav a better navigator before actually taking on the role as a navigator is something that she's more likely to do. Okay. And this is how I was always going to handle transitioning over to being a navigator. It wasn't going to be like, all right, now I'm navigator, boom. You know, it I was, doesn't. I was hoping like, for it, a short, fiery conclusion to this. Silly. Nope. 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 <laughs> All right. Yo, if you wanna, if you wanna conclusion it, you fucking uh -huh. got the evidence so, to do so what you need. So the way that I have so. this planned, I can't do it this way. So. Well, yeah. that's that. There you go. I'm not willing yeah. to like m change my character to suit whatever deal. Oh no 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 no. This was uh no. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. All right. So Tatiana seeds this point. Uh, she will let you uh, dedicate some of your duties to learning how to be a navigator, even though it should have been learned in flight school. However, no, she, she knows how to be a navigator. She just wants to be a better navigator. Mm, Makes sense. Okay. So let me ask you this. So when, when would Sonia be ready to navigate? After she's received tuition, obviously. Tuition? Yeah, Tutor. from Katya. Mm. Oh, 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 okay. Gotcha, gotcha. So that will be approximately a week's worth of uh, training. Is that right? So maybe. not tomorrow night, maybe the next mission. Well, that really depends on whether Katiana feels appropriate as a teacher to let me be a navigator. That's okay. the difference there. So right. you would have to talk to her about that. All right. All right. So I think that Katia has a training montage with you during the day. Wait, and no dick pics are shown at all? So she's holding this hot BM action in a, in yeah. a pocket that's burning a hole through her suit. <laughs> yeah. She's just like, God damn it, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Tatiana's more than happy to play the long game. Yeah. And so. now the waiting game begins. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we have the training montage where Katia is like it's, teaching you how oh, to fly. It's literally I, the music from Rocky 1. So, so can, but can then we it, have like, it be that if Katya signs off on uh, on yeah. his abilities at the end yeah. of her day training montage, that she uh, is lead navigator. So Virgil, what's happening with? Uh, so there's like Claudia? a flash in and out of that montage, and then me like whipping all the girls into like a, a dancing frenzy because I'm like really passionate <laughs> about it, and it's one thing that I know how to do, and I'm like just like. So you're really good like, at Koro Baniki. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm like, uh, you know, really excited that there's something I can do to take my mind off the war and like all the strangers. I think you'll that I don't find know. as well that Sonya is actually really good at it too. I think that I think that the the music instead of being Rocky, it's Hero, and so like everybody's like do 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 do. And then back to like the training montage. Yeah, so, so so we have a bunch of women that are like holding their hands out like this and walking on their tiptoes backwards and forward. And then we have like uh, Sonia flying like upside down over treetops, and Katya's like <laughs> it keeps cutting between those. Uh, yeah, Ileana, what's up with you? We haven't heard from you in a while. Uh, well, I. I've been doing stuff. Mostly listening, though. Being sad, uh, writing journals. Being <laughs> trying not to crash yeah. my plane while it's on the ground. <laughs> yeah, drawing pictures of burning, crashed planes. 
Exactly. And planning I call this on... one a sadness explosion. <laughs> I call this one the, cra- the, the crash of my heart. <laughs> so what is happening with you? The first... Uh... The first thing that I'm going to be doing that day is I'm actually going to be speaking with Tatiana. Okay. okay. We'll be involving Tatiana yet again. Okay. As, uh, uh, <clears throat> Captain, uh, may I please have a word with you and permission to speak freely? Yeah, absolutely. As soon as I finish drawing a sadness explosion on the on the runway. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just said Tatiana's least favorite sentence. <laughs> Are you like drawing in chalk or something? <laughs> yeah. This is where one person died. This is where another person died. And here I suspect explosion. another crash will happen, like right here, you know. I feel like if I ever start my EP gaming real barbershop quartet, we gotta have be called Sadness explosion. <laughs> Captain, I, I feel you. I feel you are mocking my uh, piloting skills with those uh, drawings of yours. Someone got rid of bottom land. What's up? <laughs> I show you that this is uh, this is a purely an abstract piece. There is a. Uh... <laughs> she turns, there's no Any picture of a crash plane uh, at all. <laughs> individuals, real or imagined, is uh, purely coincidental. Yeah, it's just like a Rorschach. What do you see in this? What do you see in this picture? It's like a picture of like a blob, and she's like a plane exploding, and she's like, okay. <laughs> what do you see in this picture? It's like a picture of like a like half a butterfly. It's like, oh, a plane exploding. It's like, <laughs> it's like what do you see in this one? <laughs> A, a, a plane exploding. That's a photograph of you. That's you. <laughs> Ileana, I apologize. Uh, we all must vent in our own ways. How would you... Uh, what, what is it that you need? I am, I am most worried about, uh, about, about you, in fact. I, I, I wanted to help. You know, I, I, I realize since I'm back from hospital, you... There, there's... There's so much work you have to do, and you're the best pilot among the best airwomen, and all the work is being heaped on you. I wanted to offer help. I, you know what happens when I get in planes, but I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good at this this thing. The the writing and the this stuff. I I could do this for you, and. And you could, you could, you don't have to worry about this, and and you can lead the squadron in the air. Okay, I appreciate here you go. your offer your of help. Of paper, I, holds a pen upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, as I'm drawing the sadness explosion, she's she's talking about all the paperwork I'm doing. Um, yeah, like, you you all you get to do is is, is paperwork, whilst you'd be more valuable in the air. I I'm I'm no use. You know what happens when when. When you rely on me, but but so, I've been doing pretty pretty well here back at base doing. So, doing, so Tatiana you know. throws her head back and just starts laughing. Um, it's like, uh, yes, I am well aware that my skills are best served in the air. However, as commanding officer, we all must make sacrifices. Some of us do it with a pen rather than blood. Hmm. Well, yeah, but the ink you, you're writing in is blood. <laughs> Well, no, so I think they down it's from writing so much. It's actually just blood <laughs> coming off of fingers and stuff. It can be blood eventually. Surely, please, you will, you will consider this at least. Uh, Ileana, I, I appreciate your gesture. And in truth, part of the reason why I work so hard during the day and abstain from sleep uh, prior to missions is that I must get our squadron ready for the combat. Uh, perhaps you could uh, take over some of these duties. Um, scrounge for the parts that we require. Uh, you know, act up and act get up. resources. <laughs> I'm trying to drop as much. Maybe as like as eyeball <laughs> someone or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so, so like Tatiana is more than willing to have Ileana step up and start producing more. Like I don't want to metagame this too much, but more mission pool. Like because at this point Tatiana is probably carrying the brunt of it. Um, 
It and certainly would be nice to not have the NKVD keep popping in your office and go, hey, stop writing reports. Yes. <laughs> uh, so if, if Ileana can take over some of the duties to help supply the missions, that would be fantastic. Tatiana would be very, very happy about this. And she, she goes and explains me. this as best she can without being too meta game about yeah, it. That's fine. And I know nothing about these report problems you're having, right? Because I didn't correct. hear you were take, taken away when she complained about you it. You might yep. have heard something about the infamous Tatiana report writings. No, nope, oh. nope. The new girl's heard nothing so far. Well, maybe I just hear that she writes a lot, but not that it's an issue. Maybe, maybe my name. Yeah, so probably while the dance routine's going on, someone, like, vaguely mentions that the NKVD officer shot herself in the face because of the reports. <laughs> I spent half my day going, Not, <laughs> she's happened when? And you're like, oh, yesterday and the day before that this happened. And Tatiana literally kept piling up the reports so high that the NKVD officer thought the only way to get through them all was to shoot herself in the face. <laughs> and, yeah. So yeah, I, uh, I'm I'm just like listening in on all the stories that the the girls tell me of of like what's been going on because it's a lot of stuff, and I just keep on being like, wait, someone shot themselves in the face? And then I, you know, get all yeah. The then there's that convicted murderer that came on, and then there was the person that tried to, you know, frame frame the people higher ups with Jewish literature, and then there was you know. And then there was the assassination. There was like the the mass. Um, we don't need to recover all the things that have happened so far. The mass killing of all the um, guys. Yeah. This is it? a Flickr episode, Arthur. <laughs> no, no, no. I hate those episodes. <laughs> like the second to last episode <laughs> I, of Legend of Korra, where they literally just had talking heads recap everything. Yeah. You, you know why that was? Our Flickr episode. You know, you know why that was? Yeah, because they ran out of money. Yeah, exactly. Because they're like, you need I, to fill this many episodes. And you know like, it was nice, though? I didn't realize what a fucking dick Mako was. Yeah. <laughs> because when they laid it out, I was like, wow, he did basically treat every woman like absolute shit. Absolutely. Until they laid it out on the timeline, I was like, yeah, Mako's kind of a cool dude, I guess. He can make lightning, but he never really does. It would solve every problem they have with water casters, but... You know, they save it for the season finale, and then I was like, oh, holy shit, he's actually a huge douchebag. <laughs> Absolutely. Why do you think they started pulling him off, man? All right. Well, so, my okay. point... Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. But <clears throat> you do remember, though, that uh, Arthur, uh, Arthur told me, because I totally, ridiculously screwed up all my eyeballing attempts, that I... I do yep. think that <laughs> and, and, I and, need uh, to relieve you of all your all of those duties to help you. And you know you. what? And you know what? Uh, Tatiana is probably giving more fuel to the fire because what she's asking you to do is her job. Yes. I would like to point out, Arthur didn't tell you shit. Your intuition into Petrovna Shh. told you these things. Eh, A little voice thing. in your head that you get when you read people. Wait. Aren't aren't you the voice in everybody's head? No. That's wow. If you're it. hearing my voice in your head, you're really fucked because I kill mm -hmm. characters all the time. So if you hear my voice oh, in the scary. head saying, "It's safe to cross the street," I'm sure you can trust people to watch where they're going. <laughs> I mean, I haven't been doing a lot of sleep trouble. lately. Maybe it's maybe it's that. I don't know. All right. So it doesn't sound like any moves happen here. You guys resolve your conversation without any conflict. Yes, although of course this does mean that I need to to try and go over her head and speak with somebody else, purely in her best interests, as far as I believe. Okay, you want to okay. cut to that? Sure. Or do you want to save that for later? Out of curiosity, so, like why? Uh, because I think I need to help need to help you out. I don't want. Uh, more but, I mean, Tatiana Sasha's. has given you exactly what your character needs. Permission to, to go to... scrounge and get mission pool. Yeah. No, no, no. But I was looking for... Uh, we, don't, we don't have a mission more. tonight, right? That's no. correct. But uh, Eliana was, was looking for a little bit, little bit more. That's the thing. You wanted her to resign her post right then and there and hand you the bars on his shoulder? <laughs> no. <laughs> is, is that what more, you were going for? Oh, more of a... I mean, she's doing the she's doing around. the Dave Traeger, which is to take the workload off you and then eventually supersede your position by just doing all of your work. I like to call uh, it the Dave Traeger because I do that in real life. 
That's how I got uh, uh, it. Right. Okay. Yeah. L- uh, let's call it a Dave Traeger, Yellen. Yes, I was asking <laughs> to to do your paperwork. In I, sort of I, I thought I can fucking see you when you're exactly doing that because.